Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel Goodwood Festival of Speed 2024. Now today, one of the runs, I'm going up with Ford UK in the Ford Puma ST line. Um, looks a little bit overwhelmed <laughs> with some of the cars it's going up the first batch with. We've got the new MG Cyberstar Convertible, we've got Lamborghini Storato. Um, a couple of McLarens over there, we've got all the generations of M5 because of the release of that. But, obviously this video is concentrating on the Puma ST line. Now, I'm not driving again today. We've got Paul Swift at the wheel. Um, always a great laugh, there he is. Happy chappy as always, he loves it. Yeah, cameras are set up, cars are starting and we're heading out in a minute for the first batch run. Just a couple of things obviously about the Puma ST line. Obviously we've got two variants of the ST now as well. Um, this is to replace and succe succeed the Fiesta as Fiesta production. If you can hear me over the cars revving in the background, the production on the Fiesta is ending and the Puma ST and ST line will succeed them cars. Now they've obviously got a massive, massively good reputation already um, and they've been out for a couple of years already as well. So there's not too much to say about it. Everyone knows the details on them. So it'd be nice to sit back and enjoy the ride with this one a bit more. This exact one is the ST Line X and it starts at £27,960. This model comes with a generous amount of kit as standard. You get 18 inch alloy wheels with a machined face finish, power folding heated door mirrors with puddle lights, 12 inch touchscreen inside the car with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto with premium B&O surround sound speakers, a wireless charging pad, power lift tailgate, automatic LED headlights with auto high beam. Autonomous emergency braking, sport suspension, normal eco sport slippery and trail driving modes, with a lot more that's all powered by 125 PS three cylinder eco boost engine. Through of course, wheel. Paul Swift wants the traction control off. <laughs> We've been told it's greasy, slippy, slippy, even better. Yeah, <laughs> I want to know how slippy. <laughs> I'm but sure we'll find out. I'm delighted to see that this Puma. ST line, it's actually got a handbrake in it, so that's uh, that's an extra thing to play with. <laughs> we'll see if we touch it or not. Yeah, unfortunately, like a lot of them nowadays, they all go electric, don't they? So it's a bit. Um... There's an iconic sight there for you. <laughs> We've passed through this archway a few times, haven't we? Yes, we have, mate. What have you been in with me before? Uh... Humour? No, I haven't done the Puma, uh, the Ford Ranger. Yeah. Uh, Raptor through here and off road. Oh, <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> that was a fun yeah, day. Hill, hill climb class. Yeah. yeah. And what else have we got? Uh, Mustang? Haven't been in a Mustang. Yeah. Done a Mach E, but I don't think that was with you. Right. Yes, also Charles sometimes when they have to few returning to the pad. And then yeah, now the Puma. So yeah, slowly building up my resume. Grip. We're fine. <laughs> know what the fuss is about? This might be naughty up here. Goes up forever. There we go. I had to cross the line. <laughs> Love the stuff. <laughs>
It keeps warning me that this is a 20 miles an hour limit down here. <laughs> is that what the thing is? Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, telling me that we're speeding. <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at that. Yeah, lovely. Lovely. And here we are, top of the hill. Oh. <laughs> and just like that, hill run complete, first one of the day, a couple more to come at least, but yeah now's time, this is a good thing about being in the middle of the batch, you sort of get up here a little bit earlier than everyone else and you can kind of get some personal time with all the cars, but yeah. Big thank you again to Ford UK and Paul Swift driving me up the hill. He likes to play with the handbrake a little bit, just throw you off a little bit, chuck the car around a little bit. We got warned it was greasy or slippery on the way up. You can definitely feel it in some patches, obviously outside the front of the Goodwood house. Nice and dry in the sunshine, but even the ST line, plenty of grip, handles really well. Yeah, plenty of fun to be had, just like the Fiesta ST line that it's replacing. Doesn't feel like a big car, you can easily chuck it around, it handles well for the power it's got. It is, although it's a mini SUV, compact SUV, uh, it still feels like a hot hatch. So, plenty of ticks of boxes all around. Lovely stuff. Morning! Oh, and then just like that, it's all over. Another quick run, it only lasts a minute and a half, but it's more the experience than anything. So again, if you can hear me, <laughs> a big thank you to Ford UK. Thanks for Paul for taking me up the hill. Lovely little motor. Definitely like saw that perfect budget car. Oh. Uh, yeah, lovely little car, great successor to the full Fiesta. Absolutely nothing wrong with it. <laughs> so, full set the car alarm off. <laughs> On the Alpine, but yeah. We might see him again on another video. So, till then, thanks again. I'll see you later.